See me? It's hard to see with the sun again. It is August 9th. Um, we're back at the food plot. And uh, I gotta say, it's looking amazing. Uh, we, we put the seeds down July 12th. So, July 12th, August 9th, just shy of a month. And this plot exploded. I'm going to show you it in a minute. Um, like I've been saying, this is my first one. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I just listened to Whitetail Institute, what they said. And, uh, watched a bunch of videos on YouTube, but uh, uh, Don Mealy has a really good channel. Don Mealy's hunting him, uh, Tom Mealy's hunting channel, something like that. Uh, he's an artist. That guy is uh, unbelievable. But anyway, picked up some stuff from him. Uh, did some research on Google, whatever, and uh, little tips here and there. And uh, it looks like it's really worked out for me, really, really good. Um, so this is just shy of a month of growth, and uh, I'm going to uh, show you. I haven't done anything without the video camera here, so I, you know I'm not hiding anything. Because I really don't know. This is my first food plot. So I'm going to, uh, let's see. Get this camera. Look at how nice and lush this came out. This is beautiful. I mean, you can't ask for better than that. I mean, look at these things. I didn't do nothing. Uh, nothing really on my own, you know, I just did follow what Whitetail Institute said, and I did it. I laid the seeds down when they said to do it, and look at these things. <laughs> this is crazy. Oh, man. Look at these brassicas. Unreal. Unreal. I mean, look at this. This is one seed. Look at all this tonnage. My goodness. Nothing hidden, you know, I, like I said, I want to stress. I didn't do nothing on my own. Everything was uh, pretty much on the box what to do. Well, on the bag in this case. Look at all this. Look at right there how much. That's got to be a foot tall. It's got to be a foot tall. Just take you down the edge here. Excuse me. Look at some spots are just huge. My word. Look at this. That's a foot tall. And and it, it kind of looks like brown. That's not the brown. That's the underside of the leaf. Everything is beautiful. Everything is really nice and green. I mean, that's the that's the uh, native grass. And this is the food plot. So you could tell the difference between... Look how green this is. Look how, you know, dried up that is. The only thing I did was add uh, about 38 pounds of... Uh, urea when it hit three inches this is insane and it doesn't look like it's being eaten um, that's the reason why I went with a brassica because not too many people around here do food plots so um, if I would have did all clover or, or an annual I'm sorry a perennial you know, it might have gotten mowed down quickly. Um, so I went with this because it it, uh, it becomes attractive after the frost, so during the hunting season. Hopefully, at least, you know. Look at this. Look at look at the look at those leaves there. I'm very happy with it. Wow. 
I will say one thing about the pure attraction. Now, again, this is my first one, first time using it. It says it has brassicas mixed in it. Now, if you guys remember, I put down about a bag of uh, tall tine tubers after I put down the recommended amount of pure attraction. And that bag is what's coming down the middle here. So, it has it, but I don't think it's got that much. I don't think I did anything wrong by adding some extra. Um, I think if I do this type of plot again, uh, that's what I'm going to go for. Uh, I'll do the pure attraction, and I'll add some more brassicas to it. Really nice. Really nice. Wow. There's a nice little apple tree right here. Shot a lot of deer on the bottom of this tree. There's my gun stand. And my archery stand is right here. So from there to the edge of the food plot is only about uh, 15 yards. So, and all the way up through here I have a rock wall about two feet high and in a couple of uh, particular spots I cleared it out so I made a little pathway and uh, I did one right around here and another one up there by my dad stand just so it's easier for them to come out you know right into bow range let me take you up through the middle now this is the first time I've seen it after I spread the uh, the urea Okay, I think these are the peas. I think these are the peas now. This is a foot tall. This is a foot tall. I'd love to pop it out and see if it's got the bulb. Got the oats in the middle mixed up, nice. Here's something, something was chewing on this. Or it just broke off maybe. Look at this leaf. Produce a lot of tonnage. Got it mixed in there nice. Looks good. So that's it, you saw it here first. If you put in the work and follow some basic instructions, you could have it too, I guess, you know? I don't have nothing special. You know, if you have the right machines, I guess, and you want to invest some time and some money, this is what you'll get. That's past my knees. I'm tired deer are gonna love me. Beautiful. Beautiful these. I'm curious to see if it's got the bulb. No, no bulb yet. But look at this combination. Looks like you got a pea, got some oats, and Nebraska. 
It's like a bouquet. No, uh, no bulb yet though. No turnip. Really happy with it. Really, really happy with it. It's a nice mix. It's a nice mix. Hopefully, uh, hopefully they'll respond. You know. And keep in mind guys, this is only about 25 days. We still have another, it's, it's August, the middle of August. Middle of September is another 30 days. We have about another 45 days of growth before hunting season. And it hasn't even rained that much. So, this will probably double, hopefully. Real nice. Real nice. Next year I gotta get on my per perennial game. Look at this guy. Look at the size of this leaf. Jesus. There, there we go. There's a purple top. There's a purple top. So just by seeing that, what I think is going to happen is this. I could be wrong. This thick patch here that goes all the way down is uh, sewed a bit tighter together than the stuff mixed with the pure attraction. I'm going to say that this part of the plot, the extra turnips that I put in, the bulb on the ground isn't going to be as big as the ones that came with the bag because they are grouped together tightly. Doesn't have room. So I think these bulbs will be a lot smaller and the scattered ones like these um, probably have better bulbs like I just showed you on that one. It's already got a bulb. The one I pulled out from the middle over there didn't have anything but look how tight it is there so I guess you kinda gotta balance it out if you wanted to but nonetheless bulb no bulb the amount of uh, forage and tonnage on on top of the ground is uh, is uh, a lot I mean look at look at these plants That one's got a bulb too. So looks like cabbage. Looks like broccoli rub. Alright guys, that's it. I owe a lot to this thing too. Let me just get a nice pan of the whole thing. And I got some cutting to do. Not the plot, but I have some cutting to do. Proof is in the pudding. Beautiful. Thank you, Whitetail Institute.